So today in class, we were looking at the standard deviation and normal distribution for average U.S. income. And in class, if you recall, we were looking at the standard normal curve. The standard normal curve has a mean of zero. And then when we look at the z-score, we're looking at the area under the curve to the left of the z-score. Now in the case of average U.S. income, we're using something that's still a normal distribution, but it's not standard normal. In this case, we saw today that the mean was 46,000. And we were trying to figure out just how much money would you have to make to be in the 99%. To do this, we're going to have to figure out what standard deviation is, which is part of what we did in class today. So I believe in class we had a statistic that 3% of the population makes $200,000 or more. That means this cutoff line right here is 200,000. Okay. We want to know what z-score that goes with. And so since this is 3%, we know on the left hand side the area under the curve over here is 97%. So what we're going to look for is the z-score that goes with 97%. To do this, we're going to look on our table that I gave you guys the other day with probabilities and z-scores. And we're looking for where the probability is close to 97%. Now, 0.9699 would round up to 0.97 or 97%. Then, we're using our table. We're going across the table, and we see 1.8. And then we go up that column and we see 0.08. That means the z-score that goes with this probability is 1.88. So that means if I come back to my paper, this z-score is 1.88. Now I'm going to use the formula z equals x minus x bar over the standard deviation, and we're going to be solving for standard deviation. So I plug in the z-score, 1.88, equals my x, which is 200,000, minus the mean, which is 46,000, over standard deviation. Now, if I want to start solving for the standard deviation, first I have to do the subtraction on the top of the fraction. So 200,000 minus 46,000 is 154,000. Then I have to multiply both sides by sigma, or the standard deviation. That causes the standard deviation on this side to cancel out. And then I have 1.88 sigma equals 154,000. I'm going to need to divide both sides by 1.88. And that gives me sigma equals, and if I go to my calculator, and I do 154,000 divided by 1.88. That gives me about $81,914. I'm going to go ahead and round that to $82,000. Okay. Now, in order to find the 99th percentile, I go back to my standard normal. Okay. I've got, or sorry, my average income. The mean is 46000 And now I want to know what income goes with 99% of the curve being to the left of this. So what you guys are going to need to do is you're going to figure out your z-score. You're going to say z equals your x, we don't know what the x is, minus the mean, we know what that is, over the standard deviation, we now know what that is. So I want you to go to, go to your z-table and figure out what z-score goes with 99%. Plug that in and tell me what x is. That's your homework for tonight.